What's up, YouTube? This is James with the Ghost Corp, and today we'll come with you with a combo video for our Pen Magician deck profile. So this is the this is my deck profile, not the not our other one. So so this would be the combo based on what I have in the extra deck. It could be the same thing, but we play differently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the test hands, test hands to see what we can do for the combo. Two of them are gonna be random test hands. While one, well, one is gonna. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna pick at least the two card, three cards, and show you what you can, what you could potentially do uninterrupted. So we're going to power shuffle. We're gonna shuffle this up quickly. This is a fifty card deck, so it's gonna take a while. See what we got first. Allure, another allure into the void, lechery, and wrath. Okay then. So yeah, this hand's absolutely garbage. So we have to really be prepared to not lose all our resources. So we'll play into the void first and draw one card. Okay then. That that's doable. That's slightly doable. It's gonna suck. This is gonna be really awkward just because we have to protect these. But what we can do first is just activate spell power mastery. Adding this. After this is scale. We'll activate luxury and scale just because we need the high. It's a it's a higher scale and we don't care about the other one. We're going to set the lore first, then activate the lore. So we're going to draw two. Okay. We're, we have to banish the dragon callers because it's the only dark in hand, and we need to use as much as we can. And. I guess maybe we can normal summon this because it's not going to be. It's. The effect only happens if it's Pensament or Flip Summon. And let's activate the Last Alloy. Wow, that's actually, this is actually much better. We'll, we'll banish the Curtain Razor. We'll banish the Curtain Razor. So that's three right now. Un going on to Interrupted. Yeah, I, I put this in the wrong zone, but like it's fine. We're, to, we're gonna summon this, and then summon Yaku King on the far end. We activate one. More, we're gonna activate one more spell card just to keep the zone going. I think this is not the counters. These two off for Electromite. For Electromite, we just need to send another level four. We don't care about since we have Dark in hand, we just send another level four. Level four. So you don't really care about Harmonizing right now just because it's just because we don't need it. Just because we don't need it, honestly. So what we're gonna because our combo is so we're still gonna end on a vortex, so we're just gonna send the other abyss actor because it now which one's gonna pop and then we're going to get back our low scales our low scale wrath we will end on the we will on end with these two with scales so that's that'll be really beneficial draw effect into the void not bad as you guys if you guys do not know that into the void is a into the void, even though it is your, even if it is your third card, you can still activate it. So we're gonna activate it right here, and draw a card. Ooh, alliance, nice. This would be moving up to five. We honestly don't need this because we don't need the plus more. Activate this, and here. 
Now we're going to pen summon. We're going to go one and two here. We don't. I wish we can use Guruda, but we can't. Effect. And then we're going to add get zero. Link off. For the LP, link these two off. For the triple best. So this part of the combo, you so this point combo, you we are still serving the shooter as normal. And rip Accupane, but right now, this is where we have this is where you make Romulus if you have it. Link these two off, then you summon Romulus. Romulus' effect on summon is going to, is going to get us a a Dragon Ravine. So hope if you play multiples of it, it's fine. But if you play the one up like I do, you hope not to draw it. You try to hope not to draw it because you just want the extra card. We're gonna activate in skill. Get one more counter effect. We're going to discard discard zero. And then foolish a tempest the tempest dragon. Thanks to triple burst and LP, you have at least two dragons in grave. You just you banish these. Summon the tempest and lucky for. Now we overlay these two for absolute. Then you finish up linking these two off to seal. Then effect of absolute, we're going to summon. We're going to summon vortex. So with this on board, we have a we have a seal that can, that will either that we can bounce return and summon either sloth or aether. So if they just normal summon, if they normal, if you go against thunder or or or, or orcus, they can't. The moment they. The moment they try to get some more special summons on the on the board, you just you, or or if they just normal summon wants to try to attack into this, you just bounce it back, and that's and that's it. So obviously not the best boy. If we had one more monster, we we used the shooter and graveyard to make a level seven. But that was that was our first combo. Next, let's go for another. Let's go for our next one. So we're going to power shuffle this again. Actually, actually, let's just shuffle this as normal. Don't want, don't, don't want to bore you guys. And first five cards. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of bad. This is really awkward right here. Doable but very awkward. So what we're gonna do is we always try to activate the spell cards first, but we are we will be very 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 scared of the beer right here. But this is what we have to do. So we send we send a dark worm. I know I play three. Where is it? Yep. Dark Moon Graveyard Summon Effect. We're going to add. We're gonna add our donut. Normal Summon. Link these off for the Electromite. Electromite Effect. We're going to send. So. This is gonna be the, the so honestly it doesn't really it shouldn't really matter what you send here but we kind of want we're kind of banking on on trying to get more monsters out here so we can send another level four we can try to send a high skill that we need I 
Actually, no. Let's send. Actually, we'll, actually, we can send a low scale here. We can try to send a low scale. We'll send seven. We'll send seven. So we could. So what? So for me, this I since I do have one more spell card in hand, and this this is more generic. I can send any other. I can just send anything from here. So we're going to activate in scale. Affect the pop. At seven. Affect the draw. If you draw a spell card, then it's fine. If it, if we don't, then okay. Okay, then, so I guess we're going one step further into this combo. I'm gonna activate Servant. Activate. Just that one counter. Foolish. We're just, we're just gonna, we're just going to Foolish a... We'll Foolish the Shooter here, just... Jet. Now, nah, actually, send it. We'll send. We'll, we'll just send a random monster. We'll, we'll send this. We don't need it. So this goes to two now. At three, three. So so if they do try to bit so if they do nibble us, then after this point, then we we have at least a minor backup plan. So we have Pentamon one. Two three. So like no like last time we did, make LP. Link these two up into into triple vest. Effect, we're going to summon we're going to summon out the Strudo. Overlay these two, overlay these two for absolute, and like I was, we're still gonna get. This is a reassembly board, but instead of, but now we're gonna have a, a new single on the field since we didn't use the tempest. So what we're gonna do is link these off, link these two off. Doesn't really matter, but I rather do do the stuff for the combo. Make Romulus. If we didn't do this, we will search it, but now we just have Vortex. Now we just got some of Vortex right here. Honestly, it can go either way, but I want it right here so that next time, next turn, I need to point, point, just to have two pointing down. Then, t then link these two up. Then, then link these two off. Wait, no, we can't. We, yeah, we, we will, we will. That's for, that's fortunate for us. Tempest's effect. We're going to we're going to banish two dragons from we banish two dragons. So we're gonna do Romulus and LP. Summon Tempest itself. And with this, we're gonna activate special summon special right here. And honestly, we we should be good on the month. The negates, so we can just depending on the matchup, you can go Jackal or Endymion. I I'm gonna I'm just gonna set an Endymion scale right now. Actually no. No, we have to do Jackal. I forgot. I forgot. We have to do Jackal. We, you do Jackal because you do Jackal because the Shiro needs a, a level six a, needs a level six or lower and to make yourself a level one. What well, needs a level six to make it level one. So now it's level one, then we use these two. To turn it into savage and savage's effect normal you people would assume put triple burst but for me i like putting i like putting electromite just because just because seals effect seals effect if you don't want to ban it if you summon right now we're gonna be summoning aether off of this so you you bounce you trip you tribute this return this back to extra deck then you have electronic for next turn if if they get it if these if these two are still in the field, so that that's pretty that's pretty plus for me. Okay, that's that's it for the that's it for the random card com for the random hand. I'm gonna show you a pretty decent, pretty decent one to two, 
uh, two to three card hand, hand, hand. The all the all the cards I draw, all the cards I draw will be non will be non relevant. It's everything else is just going to be everything else is going to be try to be searchable. So obviously a servant, mastery. And let's go with a shrine just because let's just let's just go for a shrine just because it's it'll be plus. It'll be a good last two cards doesn't matter. Last two cards don't matter, but we're just gonna draw them we're just, we're just gonna draw them just for the sake of the combo. Okay, so this is a little unfortunate for these two, but hey it doesn't matter. Activate, activate, you're going to add that's weird. Where is it? Yeah, we're gonna add the big. We're gonna be, we're gonna add bigger Dimian. So we all we automatically go up to two counters. Shrine, send dark worm, go up to three now. Summon itself. Adding the donut. I fifty card decks is. Our pain to search for and seven its effects some itself and this is what I like to summon jackal right here because I will be jumping I will be jumping zones it doesn't it doesn't really matter but it won't matter as much but I that's how I like to do it Activate heat, activate skill, make this turn this three counters, link off. Summon Electromite. Electromite effect. We would like to this time we are going to We could send the harmonizing if you want. But in case depending on the matchup, we will we're gonna send Electric this time. It's like old school old schools. Like I said. Pop, and then we're gonna add luxury. So, like I said, we don't really care about the draw. So we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it face down. For, we're gonna leave it face down for now. Yeah, we're gonna leave it face down. Activate. Put this up to five. Then activate this. Put this up to seven. And then seven's at one. Then from here we're going. Then from here, we're going to pen summon. One. One, two, and three, and, th and three. So it's still awkward board, but like, oh, it, it's it'll be doable. LP, link these two off. For triple best, triple best is a fact. We're going to. So you, it, if it, if it was gonna be the shooter, we're going to be saying Tempest now. Overlay. So we're doing the same. So we're doing the same thing as the other combos. It's it'd be a bit better if we didn't have to, but this is how we got to do it. Link these two off for Romulus. Romulus is effect. We're gonna switch off for the ravine. If you kept, if you did kept the LP, you could have done. You could do this with this. You can make this with the triple burst and then chain block if you did care. But we are we're fine in this case. And on ravine, when after ravine, put this up to three, then this to two. Link finally link these two off for a seal. Seals. And vortex, we're gonna we'll be able to get the vortex here. And we all know temp, tempest's effect, bash two dragons, special summon itself. The shooter will pay half our life to targeting jackal. Then we're going to synchro these off and make and make, finish off with savage. We 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 want more negates on it, so we're gonna, we're just gonna equip the triple burst. This will be at three now. And then effect, we're going to take off the counters, the counters now to summon this, destroy, and then leave one, leave one on here. And now we're gonna end. Then we're gonna end with Letri. 
So yeah, pretty st so yeah, pretty standard combo. Pretty pretty standard, but it's gonna be if we had more if we had one more material if we had more materials, we could have made a dweller. Dweller instead. Only thing I don't I really like I I this is the boy I usually try, like to end on, so just cause you have a slot, they can't. If you I like to do this at the beginning, like on the beginning, so we just do sloth. Because when we played or when we played this with Orcus, they you had Dingiasu to protect it, and my opponent, if my opponent had Darkwell no more, they can't do this, and if they had Super Poly, they really can't activate this anymore. So, I, honestly, I like the deck how it is. Uh, anything I would change is playing that new comics Galactic Spiral Dragon, because just because I want to be able to, I want to be able to have protection for this. So Galactic Spiral Dragon makes all the other monsters, a mon all monsters you control level eight. So if we had one spare monsters like if this was Chronograph instead. And you just push some time gaze to make that a lower eight, then you just overlay them for, for, for it. So they can't target this with, they could ta they could attempt to target this with solo trap card effects, but we're gonna negate those. And if they try to attack over this, it, look, whole part ranger will just negate, will just protect it. So I'm going to be trying with those out. I seen I seen builds online who did that, and I really thought that was cool. But the only but I, that requires me to move some cards around. I could cut Tempest, but 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 I'm just I'm still debating with that right now. Anyways, sorry for the long video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like our content, please like and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. If you guys have have any ideas for comment for content, please comment down below. And see you guys see you guys next time.